on God, nigga, not mad, nigga, not none of that shit, bro. Just let me out this weak ass contract, bro. Period, bro. Go out, let me out this weak ass management deal. Alamo, get y'all shit together, bro. And let me out that contract if y'all don't. Period. That nigga getting 20% off me and he not doing shit for me, bro. Nigga Gucci getting 20% off me and he not doing shit, bro. Like, why you getting 20% for, bro? You not doing shit for me, bro. You not doing nothing for me, bro. You shouldn't be getting 20% of shit, bro. Period, point blank, bro. Nigga getting 20% off me, he not doing shit for me, bro. I got a whole fucking ice cream cone on my face, nigga. I'll look up to this nigga, bro. Period, point blank, bro. Hey, welcome to Toast Thoughts of a Stoner TV. Now, this is the Strong God on Clout generation. I've dubbed it that, and I will continue to say that. And I will get to my point. Okay, this all comes around full circle now. Lil Wop, he's an artist who basically Gucci Man gave a chance because he tattooed a fucking ice cream cone on his face. And, you know, he came up with a song called, uh, you know, Ever Since I Was a Kid, I Wanted to Be Like Gucci or some shit like that. Now, the song was actually cool, so don't take that the wrong way but now you want to come at gucci saying that uh he got you in a fucked up contract and that he need to get his shit together and he's taking 20 per you're complaining about 20 percent when actually 20 percent is not that bad right now 20 percent is actually a uh, it seems like a standard contract i mean he's not your brother he's not your really your partner okay he's a nigga who gave another nigga from on the streets okay a chance right now 20% doesn't seem that bad to me, but who knows? I'm just a regular ass nigga. I don't know shit about contracts. Now, um, Lil Wop gets on live, okay? So he burns his bridge by doing that, right? Now, um, there may have been a hint, okay, that Lil Wop might have been doing this for clout, and this might have actually been a ruse. By, I mean, like, him and Gucci might have been in on this the whole time, okay? Because Currency actually commented on that post and said, I'm thinking this is some new slick promo y'all got going for this tape since it drops tonight. But I'm an older nigga and I'm going to just roll a fatty and read a lowrider magazine. I love everybody. All right, then Lil Wop actually, he actually posted a comment of his own and he says, Wop of Ville 4 dropping tonight, 1017 gang. So this lets you know that this is possibly all for promo and all just to get attention strung out on clout like i say man all right now i'm gonna say that this is a different gucci man than we've ever seen because if this is a fact that this is you know cool with gucci then this is this is weird man because we've never seen gucci you know just let someone disrespect him like that uh i feel like that uh, i don't know gucci this kind of says a lot about you if you're in on this and it's okay all right now also I mean, Lil Wop, you really don't have any hits like that. Like, you went viral for just being a nigga with an ice cream cone tattooed on his face for real. Like, like Gucci, okay? So, I mean, you should be glad at any opportunity that the man has given you. So, I wouldn't think that you would be serious when you talk the shit that you talked. And again, what the fuck do I know, right? I'm just a nigga with an opinion. And who wants to actually find out the truth, alright? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I'm about to get up out of here. Is this a new Gucci? Okay, is this nigga acting weird or what, bruh? If this shit is really true, like, really, think about this. If Lil Wop, like, just imagine Gucci, man, five years ago, dog. He would never go for no shit like this, all right? I just want y'all to remember that, all right? And for the kids who were too young to remember five years ago. I'm gone.